So today I'm going to take you guys through my full workout. So this is this is my Monday workout. This is basically my um so I do heavy overhead presses and heavy deadlifts. Guys will actually be surprised at how how short my workouts are, but they're very focused, they're very intense. Like they're very very just laser focused on the strength gain. Get stronger at these two exercises. So basically each of my each I work out about 3 days a week. Each of my each of my sessions has two big compound movements that I need to focus on and get stronger at. Those are the ones that I'm that I need to hit personal records on. Those are the ones I'm focused on um, progressing on because those are what's going to carry over to my physique the most. And yeah, you guys will see like they're short, very very focused, very intense. This is how this is how you train. It's not about doing as much as possible. It's about going into the gym with with a um, with a goal, with a focus. Like you, you need you can't just go in and do a bunch of fluff, fuck around. You need to know, okay, this is what I did on this exercise last time. I need to get a little bit better. You get one percent better on it this time. And that's how you build a fucking physique, man. That's how you build a physique. So you guys will see, like, I'm pushing it to the absolute max. So that's really that's really how you train. If you if you're pushing yourself past your limits, past your previous limits, then you're you're not gonna be able to be in the gym every day. So three days a week is really the sweet spot. So you guys will see. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so I'm going to do a nice little voiceover for you guys here. I'm kicking things off with the overhead press. So for my overhead press, I'll do four sets of warm up. I'll do I'll start off with 50% of my heavy set for five reps, and then I'll do 60% for four reps, and then 70% for three reps, and then 80% for one rep. So I'm slowly just getting myself prepared for that heavy, heavy set. And that's really, um, that's really how you warm up. You don't want to go above five reps and you want to keep the reps really explosive. You really want to get yourself ready for that heavy set. So here's my heavy set. Usually if I'll go for about five to six reps for my heavy, heaviest set. So this is 140 and I ended up getting about five reps. So yeah, the overhead press is one of the most important exercises that you could be doing. It's one of the most important exercises for your upper body, your strength, your aesthetic. So you must be overhead pressing. It's going to flip the script for your physique. I tried to get the six rep, but I completely fucked up. Thought I had it, but I just didn't. Usually you don't want to push it that that hard. You want to leave about one to two reps in reserve. Usually usually just one rep um, from failure for the first set at least. So then I dropped the weight 10%, rested about four to five minutes, and I got eight reps with 125 so this was a good clean set so then now i'm going to drop the weight another 10 percent rest about four to five minutes and then i'm going down to 112.5 and i got about 10 reps i really i cannot recommend this enough you you absolutely must micro load with the overhead press the overhead press is such a hit and miss exercise it's super hard it's super strenuous so like going making five pound jumps is a little bit of a long shot so usually i'll 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 make about um when i hit six reps on when i hit six reps on the first set i'll add 2.5 pounds in total and then the next workout i'll try to get five to six again but making the five pound jump is just a little bit much when it comes to the overhead press so any sort of press i recommend you buy micro plates they're very very key so now I'm going into my deadlifting, same thing, I'll, I'll, I'll follow pretty much the same warm-up scheme. So I'm slowly just getting myself ready for that heavy, heavy set. And this is really the most fun way to train, in my opinion. Just like, you know, some more, a couple warm-up sets, then hit your heaviest, heaviest set. And then you do a couple back-off sets. So this is really like, when you're training like this, it's it's super intense, but it's really fun. It's the funnest way to train, in my opinion. But when you train like this, you're not going to be able to lift too often. It's like maximum three days a week. So then this is my last warm-up set. Going uh, 80% of my heavy set for two reps. And now I'm getting into my heavy set. So I went for about six reps with 300 pounds. So my last workout, I, I've been doing, I've been using 315 for my heavy set but i realized that my lower back was starting to arch so now i'm dropping the weight and just focusing on my form a little bit more and then i'll build back up so one thing that's super important with the deadlift is that you reset on every rep so if you're not 
if you're not resetting on every rep and you're touch you're uh, using touch and go with the deadlift you're increasing your your um, chances of back injury by a ton so and yeah at that point it's not even a deadlift anymore because the point of a deadlift is that you're 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 lifting it from dead off the floor with no momentum so once you start using momentum it's not really the same movement and you're not really reaping all the benefits of the of the lift so you want to reset on every rep take a few breath take a few seconds to just like catch your breath take a big deep breath and then complete the next rep so now i dropped it about 30 pounds deadlifts i usually rest about five to ten minutes between sets since it's such a taxing exercise so i dropped it about 30 pounds and now i'm going for eight reps so yeah it's a good good set so yeah, like I always recommend with for your for your compound lifts, full rest periods, like no less than three minutes. Usually I do about four to five minutes because, um, you know, you know, every study is pretty much shown like going under anything like under three minutes is just it's there's no benefit to it. You're going to receive the maximal strength and muscle gains from resting three to five minutes. So if someone's telling you to rest like a minute between your heavy um your heavy uh, compound work, then that person's a fucking idiot. Don't listen to them. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is a good set. And then basically after this, after this, I'll go into a little bit of, um, you know, single joint movements, a little bit of isolation work. So this workout, I did some barbell curls. Did a little physique check there. See the progress. Yeah, I'll go into about two sets of 10 reps so i'm um, pretty much all my uh, accessory work i'll just do like a two by ten or a three by ten and what i really like about barbell curls is that you can micro load them so um this is about 87.5 pounds for a two by ten so you know as you guys can see i don't do too much you know um isolation work not that much fluff it's very just focused like all my effort is dumped into the the big compound work because that's where you're going to receive the biggest bang for your buck and then you know that's about 90 percent of my training and then you know 10 percent will be dedicated to movements like this just for my weak points and things i want to bring up and get a little bit of extra volume into so i did about two sets of 10 with barbell curls and then i did two sets to failure with face pulls so face pulls are a great movement for your rear delts and your your, sh your overall shoulder health so that's pretty much it for the workout. As you guys can see, the workout's super short, but it's very, very intense and it's focused on the strength gain. And, you know, if you're training all the time, you're not going to be able to be at your max. Um, you're not going to be able to lift at your peak capacity. So you really want to, you know, focus on lifting, you know, two to three days a week. I recommend three on non-consecutive days and you want to just be focusing on the strength gain that's really where that's really where your physique is built it's not about doing as much as possible it's about going into the gym with a goal you want to hit new personal records you want to put new demands on your body that's how you build a physique and you want to do so by using the biggest and most efficient compound movements that's how a physique is built pure strength work bit full rest periods full pure intensity max intensity pure focus this is how you build a physique. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and that's, uh, that's pretty much it.